Oration is change I want to see begins with me becoming the new Filipino. Contestant number seven, I am giving you 20 seconds to check your microphone and 10 seconds to compose your thoughts. If you decide to begin before your 30 second preparation time has elapsed, please give me a signal Otherwise, your timer will start after 30 seconds.
The slogan, Ako ang simula ng pagbabago, often repeated on TV by ABS-CBN, is a very appropriate subliminal message for the process of personal change and transformation of Filipinos at all levels. Becoming a new Filipino is a challenge because it is a process and will demand of me a conscious harnessing of the energies of my mind, body, and spirit, as well as perseverance. And because of this, it is a personal decision. I must freely and deliberately choose the path towards becoming a new Filipino, assuming all that this entails. This decision consequently poses concrete tasks to do. To my mind, the first task is to examine and change my lifestyle in accordance with my chosen option. Let's look around us. What do we see in our social, cultural environment that need to be changed or transformed? These can be specific, doable goals that we can aim to achieve, but this will require planning. Without setting targets, we might just be going around in a vicious circle instead of moving forward. You may ask, wouldn't this be a boring matter of living? Not when we nurture the fire of our dream to become a new Filipino. The famous German poet Goethe wrote, Whatever you can do or dream you can do, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic. My fellow youth, we are a challenged generation. Paraphrasing Michael Jackson, we can say together, we are the youth, we are the ones who make a brighter day, so let's start giving. Let's welcome the genius, power, and magic of the courage to become a new Filipino. Thank you, Desi number seven. You may know.